Andrew in Gotham, England. Isn't Gotham City Batman's city? Maybe that's where they got that. I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> I read that DSD conversion to analog just requires a low-pass filter. Does this mean that the analog electronics is effectively fed with a digital on-off signal, similar to using PCM for motor or lighting controls from a microcontroller? Or is there any digital signal processing in the DAC to reconstruct an audio signal, say a sine wave, like there has to be with PCM digitally coded signals? Um, yes, what you've heard is indeed accurate. If you take PCM, and, and here's the thing, that this is hard for people to get. PCM and DSD are digital. What does digital mean? Digital means ones and zeros, okay? So ones and zeros aren't all the same. Let's take PWM, pulse width modulation. That's what you have in class D amplifiers, and there we still have ones and zeros, okay? But there's a difference. In a pulse width modulated signal, the one gets small and long and everywhere in between, right? So you still have, I mean, most of these amps run at 100,000 cycles per second, okay? So every 100,000th of a second, a pulse comes out, the one, and it is a certain width. And if the signal is very low in volume, the width of that signal is very small. If it's very loud in the signal, because remember we're breaking a 20, up to 20 kilohertz music signal into little tiny sections, right? That just think of a film running at 24 times a second. Well, here's, and, and as you play it back, it sounds continuous, right? Or it looks continuous. Well, here's a film that's taking snapshots and it's running at 100,000 times a second so that you can get in without any kind of interruption something up to 20 kilohertz, right? So you still have these little snapshots. And with every snapshot, that's a one. And where there isn't a snapshot, we have a break in the signal, that's the zero. The ones get smaller or larger and smaller depending on the loudness of the signal. So you see this thing going like this as it then demodulates into audio that we hear. And that's how PWM works. So there's ones and zeros that are very different than just straight ones and zeros that you might think of in a counting scheme. Then there's PCM, pulse code modulation. So the C in PCM tells you something. There's a code involved. Don't worry about that. People in England don't know what this means, so I can do that. Um, there's a code involved, which means that the 16-bit, 24-bit creates a word. This is what we call a word. So you take every 24 bits and it represents a code that a computer has to disassemble and reassemble into another form, okay? This code represents a number. And remember in, P in PWM, we had a signal that was, the one was getting bigger and smaller. Well, in PCM, same thing's happening, but we're doing it differently. Instead of every 100 thousandths of a second where we have a one or a zero, depending on the sample rate here, let's just say 44,000 CD, which every 44 thousandths of a second, we get this number, okay? This 16 bits, this 24 bit number, this code. And that represents a number. And the higher the number, the louder the signal. The lower the number, the smaller the signal. And that has to be decoded because if you took a PCM output and put it into a loudspeaker through an amplifier, you'd only get nothing, you get hiss. If you take a PWM, pulse width modulated signal, and you put it directly into a power amp and an amp, you'll get music out because you have this voltage that from these varying pulse widths. Now, lastly, DSD, which is actually PDM. So we got 
PWM, PCM, and PDM. So PDM is pulse density modulation. And there, let's choose a frequency like for standard DSD, you're running at about two million times a second. And this is what's called a one bit system. And the same thing is true. You got a zero, up, oh, zero, and a one, right? Same thing. It's just running a lot faster. And every time we want a soft note or no note at all, we're going to give you a zero. As the volume starts increasing, this every one, one time every two millionths of a second, we're going to give you a one. And depending on the density, the number of how, how close, not how close, but how many ones we get as opposed to zeros, at the end of the day, give us a louder or softer sound, and that's music. Okay? If we have all ones, it's going to be at the top of its loudness level. If we have all zeros, you're not going to get any sound. And everywhere in between, as we, you know, and it builds this waveform. So there, like PWM, we can take this high speed 2 megahertz signal, put it directly into an amplifier and a speaker. And remember, the speaker is a low pass filter. You get music out. So PWM, PDM, DSD, and, and Class D, you can put directly into a speaker, you will get sound out. PCM, which is what CDs are from, and your 192.24, all of that kind of stuff, you cannot put that directly in. You need an intermediary computer to take it apart and tell it, well, here's what the code represents, and now we're going to convert that over to a voltage, blah, blah, blah. Okay? All right. Hope that makes sense.